Well, we're about to visit a town where the walls do tell stories, not with words, but with pictures. In the town of Sheffield, just a short drive from here, practically every available wall is taken up with large murals depicting the history of the area. Reminds me of another old saying, a picture tells a thousand words. Here in Sheffield, which is a small country town on the northwest coast of Tasmania, and in the last 20 years we've become known as a mural town, and we have the history uh, of our, the events of the past uh, and the stories of the people all painted on the walls of the town. We've been on a, a 22 year journey now, uh, and it all started back in 1985 when the town was dying, there was a town meeting called and the shopkeepers discussed what are we going to do, how are we going to turn this town around. The night before the meeting was called, uh, two of the people that were going to the meeting uh, saw a documentary on TV uh, about a small town in uh, Canada called Shimanus. The mill had closed down and there were a thousand people put out of work and they started to paint the history of the mill in that particular town. People came to see the paintings and uh, the town began to reinvent itself. We've done that here in Sheffield and the, uh, the success has been a phenomena. Uh, today we have 35 viable businesses and we have all the necessary services here in this small country town in Australia. Stillness and Warmth and it was painted by John Lendis and um, basically it was the first uh, mural painted in town, uh, opened in 1986. The mural project started in 85 and um, this was the first one and it is still a very popular mural, people come and, and look at this one. It depicts Gustav Weindorfer who was the person behind the actual inspiration for the Cradle Mountain World Heritage Area, in fact he even used those words in his diary. John Landis and Shane Perdue painted all the early murals, so there'd be a good number of them, probably close to 12 or 14 between the two of them, maybe even more. He has wonderful landscape painting. He brings the intensity of this area and the, the wildness of the, the wilderness areas into town for us to look at. So all the murals in town are painted with house paint, and most people would be surprised by that. The visitors love the town. They come and look at the murals and they see and understand the stories and the events of the past. I am an eighth generation Tasmanian and I have lived in this area for 30 years and uh, consequently I have a great uh, feeling for Tasmania and an understanding of the history of this area. This is my second mural painted in 1988 and it was commissioned by the Minister's Fraternal to depict the denominations as they came to this area. The central feature is my grandmother. My people back then were Salvationists. This town was called the Bible Belt of Tasmania. It has a very strong Christian heritage and this is why this mural is important to the town. There's many hours talking to the old residents of the town and the area for them to look up photographs, history, reading stories, reading books of the history before you can actually start putting it together. Oh, I really love them, they're fantastic. It's been a real experience to be here, to have a look. I've been told that there was a lot, but yeah, they're, they're everywhere. It's amazing. I was quite impressed by the, yes, by the standard and the historical things that they uh, show. And, you know, the, the Clydesdale working horses, and the postal coach and that sort of thing, you know. You get the real feel for 
and all this, of course, Mount Rowland. Really lovely. Visitors love the mural. They love hearing about the, the work, they love looking at the, the actual murals themselves, and importantly, they love to hear about the artists. The town has gone from a town where there were empty shops in the 1980s. In the early 1990s, as the mural project got going, all the shopkeepers renovated their shops, and we now have a town that is alive and well and very prosperous.